forward, cinch it down, locks up. That thing, man, that thing amazes me how much of a beating it takes. Aquacat demonstration here. Always turn the controller on first, on, over the Aquacat, on, battery reader, voltage, 25.3. I've had it down to 21.1, and when I charged it, it took me 310 minutes to charge. This is right here, okay? So this has to be solid green for the coordinates to be set for this exact spot. Is that like Bluetooth or what? Yeah, what it? it's got it's Bluetooth? like GPS. GPS, so okay. I'm taking this it's here, green. green. I'm taking this left up to the top, to the middle, back towards me, back to the middle. Damn. Holding the rudder control stick to the right for five seconds. Solid green. Now I know that when I hit the return to home that it'll come back to this exact spot. I'll be dead. Uh, the one thing I have learned since the first time you've seen this in a video is I am now just putting the bait on the Aquacat. Not putting the weight. First time I was doing that, it worked a couple times, but it got tangled up at the same time. Top right lever releases the bait, so you press it forward, cinch it down, locks up. Okay. Okay. make sure you get it on video. <laughs> I said make sure you get something cool on video. I caught a double. Me and I got a double on the sandbar. They out there flopping around on the sand. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that don't happen. Anymore. Send it. You want to be in about, I would say, three feet of water when you drop this. So. Pretty sure the remote can't get wet either, so keep it high. All you do is you just huck it. There you go. Yeah, buddy.
All right, guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions about what's this dude shark fishing with a ladder on the beach for? So the reason I've got the ladder is for the Aquacat to increase the signal. The higher I go up, the farther I can drop the bait. I'm 6'9", this is a six foot ladder. So you may need an eight foot, a 10 foot ladder to get to the same signal distance that I'm getting. With this ladder, I'm able to drop my baits an extra 200 yards farther. Definitely a game changer when using the Aquacat. Got Troy taking the bait out here. Low tide, needs to walk over that first bar because there's literally three inches on top of it right now. And then we got cow nose on this one. I would guess some, somewhere between 10 and 15 pound bait, pretty big. And I've got black drum here, which is missled. Black drum here, which is missled. This one, I'm gonna put just over the second bar and then I'm gonna run a bonita out on this one, a uh, short one, because I got two long ones on the side, so. Hopefully we're gonna get a daytime here. But Aquacat, got the coordinates set. Troy's out there at the first bar. Just walking over right now, got the clicker on for a little resistance. This doesn't spool up on me. And he is just about to drop it in, dropping it, and now I am in control of the Aquacat. And there we go. Got some dolphin action out there right now. I'm honestly more concerned about the dolphins smoking the Aquacat than a shark. Just approaching the second sandbar here. You guys probably can't see it. Sandbar is probably 15 to 20 yards wide, I would guess. I'm right on top of the second bar here. And now I wanna put this about 10 yards behind the second bar. So I am just going over it. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And we are right about where I want to put it here, angle a little bit to the left. And now to hit the drop release, all I do is I hit this right one here. Bait is now dropped. As the reel has stopped clicking, now this is the coolest part. The return to home feature, coordinate set, all I do is I hit this back towards me. No hands, and it's coming right back towards me. Let's go. Down the ladder. So this is how you do this yourself. Bring this up here. Just like if I had dropped it in the kayak, the guy on the land would tighten the drag, get that anchor to hold. Oh yeah, perfect drop. Perfect. Now I got little buddy flying back here. I don't know what you call this thing. I think we should call it the orca. The red one. I don't know what we call that one either. Anyways, things coming in hot. Like I said, no controls. How to take it into manual. Take the left joystick here. Put it back into the middle spot here. 
coming up on the first bar middle now i am in control of the aqua cat look at that got over let's do some circles around troy here Give the old man some love. Coming back to the spot that I set up here originally. I'm not controlling it. All I have to do is when it's about 10 yards away, take it out of autopilot. Right about here. And now I'm in control of it. Butter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Aquacat is a huge game changer for me. Next week's video, it's gonna be all about my setup, how comfortable you're gonna be in the winter time, summer versus winter time charters, and summer versus winter time setups. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.